brainstorm a hundred ideas and make sure your content is good. Okay, if you're tired of the same old advice, then this video is for you where I share what I did specifically to help get my first 1,000 subscribers and how it has continued to work for me. I, don't get me started. Hey everybody, I'm Shauna and welcome back to my channel, Shauna Missy Me HD, where I strive to help you reach your educational goals by helping you gain admission into health-related undergrad and graduate programs. But today we are not talking about education. It is all about YouTube and how to get your first 1,000 subscribers fast on YouTube in 2020. But before we get started, you guys know what to do. Go ahead and press the subscribe button and make sure you click the notification bell so that you are the first to be notified when I release the next video. From the time I released my first video on March 4th to April 4th, I had only gained 85 subscribers and I know for a fact that the majority of those subscribers came from my friends and family who knew that I started the channel. So from April 4th to May 13th, I've literally gained 2,000 subscribers. And specifically, there was a point in that duration where I gained 1,000 subscribers in seven days. So. I'm gonna show you guys my analytics so that you can know it's the real deal and I'm not exaggerating. Your girl will never exaggerate and give it to you crooked. It's gonna always come straight, okay? So if you guys don't know, I'm a doctor and the way my brain works is literally by processing pathways and connecting dots. So when I do my videos, like everything has to like make sense and kind of fall into some type of chronological order. So I like to break this down into three main areas that you need to focus on in order to gain subscribers as quick as possible. And the first area is traffic, number two is conversion, and number three is evaluation. So let's start with traffic. So obviously in order for your channel to grow and you to gain subscribers, you have to get people driven to your page. Okay, so that is what I mean by traffic. You wanna get people directed to your YouTube channel so that people can potentially become subscribers. And the way you do that is a couple of ways. Some is going to be like very person dependent and based off what you already start off with. And then some is going to be just how you kind of work YouTube, right? You got to know how to work this. Okay. Number one, and will always be my number one is to actually utilize your current social media platforms. So whatever you already have, if it's Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and for me, it is definitely TikTok. And to be honest with you guys, I started my YouTube channel and released my first five YouTube videos before I even got on TikTok, okay? But TikTok has been the game changer for me. My TikTok has literally grown super fast over the last couple of weeks, and I know for a fact it has played a huge role in driving traffic to my YouTube page. And if you're interested in how to grow your TikTok account, I have a video that I will link here. If you don't currently have a large social media following, I would definitely advise you to start using your social medias more often, even if it's just one or two subscribers. Those subscribers add up, trust me. Do not get into this game thinking you're just gonna get a butt ton of subscribers at one time. You may, but you may not. Most people don't, right? And so know that five subscribers here, 10 subscribers there adds up. So make sure you are utilizing your social media accounts as much as possible. Make sure you are promoting and telling everyone that you know that you're on YouTube and why they should watch your videos. Number two is SEO, which is a huge one and I don't have enough time in this video to like explain everything, but SEO is search engine optimization. And it is so important because when people search content, you want your content to pop up. So the two main things that are important is searchability as well as optimization. So you wanna use words that people are actually searching in the search bar. You don't wanna use words that no one's gonna actually type into the search bar. So TubeBuddy has a tool that is called Keyword Tool or Finder or something like that, whatever it's called. And you can actually use that to figure out how strongly your video or channel will perform using a certain set of keywords. Okay, and then TubeBuddy also has an SEO tool, search engine optimization tool that helps you optimize your videos as best as possible. This is where you optimize your video to be able to rank as high as possible when a keyword is searched. So when someone searches how to build a website, if you have a video on how to build a website, you wanna make sure your video is not on the 20th page 
of the YouTube search. You want it on the first page. And why would you want it on the first page? Obviously because most people are not going through pages and pages of search to choose a video. They're going to choose whatever ranks the highest. So you kind of want to get your video in that number one spot. Obviously everybody wants to be number one because you have the most chances of being clicked on. So that is why optimizing your videos is so important. So it's really good to go ahead and download that extension and start using it in your videos from the beginning. YouTube and any other platform really loves numbers. If you find a way to get a large number of subscribers at one time a large number of views a large number of watch hours at one time is gonna increase your chances of YouTube noticing you noticing that you're a newcomer in the game and that hey I make quality videos put my videos out there push it to other people who are on the platform who don't know that I exist and then you are able to grow your channel organically because these are YouTube lovers okay these are people who are on YouTube all day long and they're gonna watch your video regardless because they love YouTube they love to watch content right so that is what we ultimately are trying to get to is to where YouTube literally takes our information takes our video take our content and push it to other audiences that help us grow our channel now that we have traffic being driven to our actual YouTube channel how are we gonna make them convert what is gonna make someone actually press the subscribe button okay so now we're talking about conversion now they're not just a viewer anymore they're a subscriber now we work on those things and I think the number one thing as far as how you can get someone to subscribe to your channel is obviously what you talk about and what you talk about has two different branches one will be like your content and then the other would be your niche okay so niche is kind of like the subcategory if you will of what your channel like primarily focuses on and then your content is like actually how you present whatever that may be so for content for me i like to say either it needs to be something that people can relate to or understand or kind of empathize with you or something that is informative teaching somebody how to do something tutorial channels are huge right now i'm kind of a tutorial type channel and then also entertainment so make sure your content falls within one of those three and your channel should be able to convert viewers into subscribers so in addition to content you also need to be consistent so no one wants to subscribe to a channel that uploads every now and then and also when you want to grow your channel you want to make sure you have enough content on your channel to keep people watching eventually like you want to have playlists that people can literally just watch and bend going along with content and consistency is your personality and like what makes people want to like watch you and what draws people to you but that's also something called camera presence which would technically be stage presence but camera presence like being comfortable in front of a camera and trust me I love to talk to people and I've been talking all my life but I've never done something like this and it shows on my videos so that's something that you just have to work on some people have like natural talent like my girl Erin on demand she was made for this <laughs> when it comes to her camera presence it the camera loves her all right and check out her page if you want to grow your brand and stuff like that Erin on demand but anyway it's not for everybody right we all some of us have to actually work and practice at this but that comes when you actually start your channel and you start pushing content people will start to love you for who you are be yourself and make sure that you always keep your stuff consistent and then like i said the other side is niche people tell you to niche down niche down niche down i'm tired of hearing niche down <laughs> everybody says that but what i think that is important for small youtubers is not to niche down too quickly when i first started my youtube channel and i'll show you guys my first banner i had mindset fitness finance and, and self-love or relationships i want to talk about all of that and I didn't know which area was gonna actually like blow up first. I didn't know what was gonna work for me. So I decided to just throw all kinds of bait in the ocean and whatever bit first is what I was gonna run with. And for me, it took me almost 10 videos to put out until I actually put out education videos, which is what's working for me right now. And I didn't know that until I got on TikTok. So my social media and my niche kind of happened at the same time. I got on TikTok, 
I started to get a lot of attention and I started to get followers and then I posted a video about how to become a doctor and it just took off and it's been blowing up ever since. So that is how I niche down and then that is how I drove my initial traffic. And then next when it comes to actually working on converting a viewer into subscriber is your channel presentation and a lot of big YouTubers who have videos on how to grow your channel talk about this. They talk about making sure you have a nice profile picture, making sure your banner is not only cute and a attractive but also valuable which means it gives information okay and then also utilizing your about section on your YouTube channel and last but not least I want to talk about evaluation now this is very important for continuing to grow your YouTube channel and what you need to do is actually go back and evaluate what has happened so for me over the last month I'm looking at all the videos I released how many views I got, how many watch hours I got, how many people commented, what are they requesting, like all kinds of stuff. Seeing how my videos actually performed and figuring out what do I need to do, what did they like, which, which videos perform the best. And you do that through your YouTube analytics. And so let's go to my analytics real quick. I'm here on my homepage and this is where we ultimately want our videos to land. We want our videos on subscribers and non-subscribers home pages okay because that is how you get a lot of traffic is when youtube is putting your stuff on somebody else's stuff who don't know that you exist they don't know who you are what you talk about or that you even exist right so we want to be on people's home pages so once i go into my channel all right here you can see here you can see where i had that big jump in views i think this is a view yeah this is a view so right around April 20th something so not even a month ago is where I had that huge jump and then I've been kind of consistent and then kind of like eh. <laughs> but yeah it is what it is so let's go over to YouTube studio and this is what you have to kind of get, get comfortable with using and I'm still learning so I'm not gonna be able to like tell y'all everything about this because obviously I just started but you will definitely need to use your analytics to know how to improve your channel to know how to grow and get better so here you can see my current subscribers is 2,092 and I've gained 1857 in the last 28 days. Here we go. Let's do day in the life and look at my analytics. And basically when it comes to figuring out how to drive more traffic, I have to go to reach, which is telling me where my traffic is coming from. So here it goes. Traffic source type specifically. And the number one is channel pages. And then direct or unknown browse features YouTube search external so basically channel pages is when someone actually goes to my channel so they'll go to YouTube and they'll type in Shauna Missy Me HD and it'll pull up my channel and then they'll have access to all of my videos so 33% of people who are watching this video is probably being driven to my actual channel and then they're clicking on the video and then direct or unknown would be uh, if someone directly puts the URL um, puts the link into the URL and then searches for my video or if it's an app that YouTube really hasn't identified yet it doesn't really have a category for it and in my case it's TikTok for sure I know that for sure um, and 25% of my traffic is coming from TikTok for this particular video browse features is what I was saying a couple of minutes ago about we want our videos to be on people's homepage when they log into YouTube so this is what that is and 14% of my views are coming from that. So that's awesome. That tells me that YouTube has finally started to pick up my videos and put it on people's home pages. And then YouTube search is clearly what that is. YouTube search. Basically 10% of my views. So if I have 1,800, 180 of my views have come from people actually typing in those keywords into the YouTube search bar. So the keywords that you choose for your video definitely makes a big deal. And as you can see, when it comes to the different traffic sources that I talked about previously in the video, I'm already utilizing all of them. So um, my social media would be this one. And then YouTube algorithm would be this one. Like I'm finally uh, getting, getting pushed by YouTube. And then YouTube search would be the SEO and everything like that. And then you have external, which I know for me is Facebook and Instagram. So 8% is coming from there and then others. Maybe like all of this stuff together. So notifications, playlist page, playlist end screens, which I, I am using uh, cards and end screens on my videos. 
Oh, the suggested is another huge one that you also want YouTube to do for you. And obviously it's not one of my top ones, but I am getting some suggestions and I've gotten 59 views from suggested videos. So that's one that I know that I need to work on. I need to try to find ways to get my videos suggested after like other bigger videos. And there are uh, strategies to do that and I have to share that another day. But as you can see here, like usually my direct picks up most of the traffic because I'm uh, promoting my videos on TikTok and so I could I know that that's TikTok right there that's all TikTok but when it comes to channel pages that's probably a combination of more than just TikTok just people in general who know that I'm on YouTube they're going to my page or other people who may see my um, see watch one video and then they click on my profile and then they find other videos that they are interested in and then uh the other sources so you can see like i said browse features youtube search and external are also uh finally on the graph i have some videos to where like i can't even see these colors because they all like down here <laughs> i wouldn't get no views but anyway uh those are my analytics for just a video that i think is performing pretty well and then real quickly i want to show you guys where i'm at as far as monetization so I've reached my 1,000 subscribers and I am currently working on my watch hours. I'm at 1,085 and I can tell you that that 1,000 that I have so far, I've literally gotten over the last three weeks, point blank period. My first 10 videos did not create a lot of watch hours for me. I would say less than 100. So I know for a fact that a lot of these watch hours has come from when I niched down and started to actually get subscribers, obviously. And just to wrap it up uh two more things that i want to include in this evaluation um area is that if you find something that works for you keep doing it and then the third and final tip that i have um outside of just don't give up on yourself <laughs> is to do research like look at other videos and look at what other people have done what works for them what does not work for them i hope this was helpful and you guys have a great day